Hello. Uh, today we will see heat transfer in natural convection. Now here the specimen is a brass tube through which we need to calculate what is amount of natural convection is going to take place. Okay. Now this is voltmeter, this is ammeter and this is temperature indicator. As you see our specimen is a vertical tube made up of a brass and there are 8 different thermocouples are there installed at regular interval throughout its periphery of the brass tube. Now this is the dimmer stand. We are going to supply heat or we are going to heat the specimen by using the dimmer stand. Now if I rotate the dimmer stand and set particular voltage and it shows a corresponding current that will be supplied to the specimen. When you set a particular amount of voltage, you need to wait for so that the specimen acquires a heat and it should come to its stabilized state. Next, slightly increase in voltage and wait for another 15 to 20 minutes so that again the specimen is heated more properly. And supplying the heat for the specimen, it should be done in terms of stages such that our specimen will be get heated more properly such that what temperature you are going to record throughout its periphery of this brass tube will become more accurate. So now what we are going to do here, initially I set for some amount of voltage as well as and wait for certain time due to which it will attain a equilibrium temperature. Now as you see our specimen, there are 8 different thermocouples are here and one thermocouple is installed here, in, it is going to tell you the inside chamber temperature. It is a very simple experiment for which what we are going to calculate is a natural convection, heat transfer coefficient. Now why it is called a natural convection heat transfer, why because here when specimen is getting heated, when air surrounding the specimen is also get heated, due to change in density, the air will flow rapidly surrounding the brass tube. Due to which there is a change in air density, the air starts flowing or circulating naturally. That's why it is called a natural convection. If it is a forced convection, what we will do, we will make use of a small blower and we are going to force the air from one end of the system to another end of the system through which by using making use of a blower the air is forced toward the system that's why it is called forced but in this case we are not going to use any blower or external agency we are not going to make use of it and due to naturally the change in density of the air is flow throughout the system that is a natural convection now there are eight temperatures are there now we can record eight different temperatures by operating this now if i go See, this is at T1, the temperature is 59 degrees Celsius. If I go for T2, 66, T3, 74 degrees Celsius, T4, 70, sorry, 80 degrees Celsius, T5 is 82, T6 is 83, T7 is 80, and T8, as I told you, it will going to record a inside chamber temperature that is 33 degrees Celsius. By making use of these temperatures, we can able to calculate a convective heat transfer coefficient. 